For today's video, we're going to be making French toast, scrambled eggs, and a side of grits. You can always add or subtract any of the toppings, seasonings to your liking, as well as substitute any of the following items for whatever you prefer. This is what I had, and I do like to prep things already on the countertop, so it's convenient. We have all of our ingredients, as well as utensils, so therefore when it's time to cook, it's already prepped. So starting off for the main ingredients, once again, this is going to be optional. You can read the description, or you can add what you prefer. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you have the main ingredients. So the main ingredients are going to be bread. You guys, my hands are ashy because you're going to see me wash my hands in this video. But you want to get bread. You want to get a thick bread. So I have this old time split top wheat. This bread is kind of thick. I don't know if you guys can see. The thicker the bread, the better. And of course, you can get whatever bread that you need. Next, you're going to use your utensils. So you have a teaspoon, a tablespoon, as well as a cup for measurements. You're going to need a stick of butter. I have unsalted because to me, unsalted butter just tastes good for some reason. Well, this kind. I'll show you in a second. As well as another small um, bowl here and a fork to taste test and measure. And I do not have pure vanilla extract. So instead, I'm just going to use cinnamon sugar and ground sugar. I know um, pure vanilla extract is recommended, but because I ran out and it wasn't until I made this video, this is just what we're going to use. So I have ground cinnamon and I'm just going to add a little bit more cinnamon sugar as well as you're going to need some regular sugar, if not powder sugar. So these are the main ingredients here and then to top it off, or you can add just a little bit in. Um, I have some syrup here. Okay. So next for the eggs, as well as the French toast, you're going to need eggs. It doesn't matter what kind of eggs that you have. We have a whisk to make sure everything is nicely coated. For the eggs, as well as grits, and for a little bit of the French toast, you're gonna use salt. You guys see I have light salt. We have some pepper, okay? We have vegetable oil just for the frying pans. And then we have some cheese. As you guys can see, this cheese is running out. And then to make it very simple and convenient, lastly, we just have some instant grits that you could cook. It says cook to five to 10 minutes. So for our eggs, this is what we're gonna be putting our eggs in, as well with our spoon. I have a cutting board because this is where I'm going to be putting the French toast on after we place it in this bowl to make sure it's damp and coated and moisturized. This is what I'm going to be putting the stuff in. I know this is a big bowl, but I couldn't find anything else. And then once the food is cooked, once again, I like to have everything already prepped. This is what we're going to be putting our French toast in with some aluminum foil. This is where we're putting our eggs. Once again, I just like to have everything already prepped so it makes it convenient. And this is what we're gonna be putting our grits in. And I use plastic and glass because I like to make things convenient and I am tired of doing the dishes. So, and then of course, this is what we're gonna serve it on. I may add a smoothie and some fruit, but these are the main things that you're gonna need. So your bread is the most important thing. Your eggs is the most important ingredient. Butter is the most important ingredient. And then of course, oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. I forgot the most thing that we totally forgot. And you're going to need milk. You're going to need milk. I totally forgot. So you're going to need milk. So let me go ahead and place this right here. Almost forgot. You're definitely going to need milk to make your French toast. After you wash your hands, you want to grab your mixing bowl as well as two to four eggs based on the serving and crack them. Once your eggs have been cracked, the next step is to go ahead and add in our milk. You can use a measuring cup from one half, one fourth, or two cups at the most. And if you need any more, you can eyeball it. that your egg and milk has been poured into the mixing bowl you want to use a spoon or a whisk and slightly stir your bowl as you're slightly stirring the bowl the next ingredient that you're going to use is pure sugar you can also use powdered sugar and you only want to use a teaspoon or a tablespoon make your servings based on your preference and to your liking for the next ingredient, you're going to use pure vanilla extract. I did not have any, so instead I substituted with cinnamon sugar and ground cinnamon. For this part, you can always use exact measurements such as three tablespoons of ground cinnamon or two teaspoons of cinnamon sugar. If you have pure vanilla extract, you wanna just go ahead and drop two to five or once again, based off of your serving size into your liking if you want it to be super duper sweet and cinnamon. So for the final step, you will only use a pinch 
a pinch a little bit as you guys can see i sprinkled it on my hand because i didn't even want to add a pinch of salt you do not need a lot of salt because we do not want it to be salty we want it to taste like cinnamon and vanilla so just a pinch of salt okay you guys and then you're going to get your whisk or your spoon and whisk it up and stir it until all of your flavors are blended in in the same color for your scrambled eggs you're just going to get your bowl use as many as you need and add salt and pepper Once your toast is nicely coated, you want to shake off any extra so therefore the bread does not get soggy and tear apart. As you guys can see, I'm currently on the stove. I have a pot and a pan. You will need both. And in the first pot that I have, we have the grits. As you guys can see, you want to boil some water until it is hot and add in your serving size for your grits and follow the instructions for however long it needs to be cooked for. I use two cups and I also use two cups of water and you can always add more if needed needed and stir to your liking next as you guys can see in the pan you want to use oil vegetable oil olive oil allow that to get hot and then add in some butter for some extra flavor if you would like so therefore this is what it's looking like after both the pot and the pan started to warm up So this is the fried eggs once they're done. This is the French toast. I added some more cinnamon and sugar on top. And we have our grits. I like mine to be thick. I can't stir it at the same time, but cheese, salt and pepper, fried eggs. Make my plate and test it out and see what it tastes like. Again. Okay. This is what the lighting is. Fried eggs and then grits. I can't stir it at the same time, but and then we have butter, salt, and pepper, and then syrup. So I'm gonna make my plate. This is a plate, and here we have our plate. I had to, of course, put it back. But this is our grits. 
Oh, let me stir this up a little bit more so. Add some cheese in it. Alrighty, so here we have it. This is our plate. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Mm, it's just the lighting. Once again, just the rest of the French toast, the grits, and then our eggs on the cake.